it's not you, it's me. I cannot tell you how many times I've heard this line throughout my life. And you know what? It is probably you. People are not inviting you to play in rec play or asking you to play in tournaments. Guys and ladies, please subscribe. Please leave your comments and have a good day. Are you leaving your partner out to dry? Here are seven reasons why you're not getting invited by the higher level people to play. First reason, you are making your partner look like a pinata. They are probably screaming at you. Stop setting me up, I literally have wouts. When this happens, you lose momentum. And in a tournament, it really does change the pace of the game. So really work on your dinking. I would advise dinking an hour in the morning every single morning. Do I do this? Sometimes. Sometimes I do. When you float dinks or hit dead dinks, it really leaves your partner out to dry. This is a very good example. Scott hits a high dink and Rob really squares up and Mark is really looking like a deer in headlights. This is a true story. Mark actually refuses to play with me in rec play because I float a lot of dinks and it's true. It does ruin momentum like I said and that's just David's fault. Who gets body bagged and went that at the baseline? He moves like an elephant. If you want to be invited to higher level matches and get better partners in tournaments, find a dinkin' partner that works around your schedule. For example, if you work at 8 a.m., wake up at 6.30, dink for an hour, and then get to work. This really helps build confidence, builds muscle memory, and trust me, you're gonna do better in rec play, and you'll get invited to parties. You lob way too much in rec play. Not many ladies wanna play with you, nor men. I know lobbing is part of the game, it's a fact. However, in tournaments, you'll probably get lobbed once or twice. Dinkin battles, wins or loses tournaments. Along with the third shot drop and not missing your returns. So in rec play, I would advise to maybe hit one or two lobs a game, but not too much. Work on your third shot drops, third shot drives, and fifth shot drops if you drive the third shot. To be redundant, this is where tournaments are won or lost. Trust me. You're inconsistent. You're being lazy. How can I trust you, let alone in a tournament? Don't miss third shot drops, and I am so guilty of the latter. I take games off in tournaments, I zone out, and I have to be a better man. Here's a good example. This is me at Pictona. I have an easy backhand put away and with it. What was I thinking? I don't know. Who knows? However, two beautiful girls laughed at me. Not the first time this happened, nor will it be the last. However, missing easy putaways really upsets Mark Napotovich and a lot of other higher level people. So if you have a chance to put it away, don't whiff it and put it away. Also, don't back up from the kitchen for no reason. <laughs> and this is not the best example because Mark actually did pop it up. So I would advise to take a quick step back, reset, and then be ready for the next shot. This brings me to my next point. <laughs> You're not getting to the kitchen. Get to the kitchen! I probably should have put this as a number one reason, but this is ranked in no particular order. But again, Rick returns, and when you return, run to the kitchen. Your partner really will get frustrated with you if you don't get to the kitchen. The next reason. You are so unpredictable. I don't know if you're gonna speed it up. I don't know if you're gonna dink. I don't know if you're gonna lob. I think we're gonna have to go our separate ways. <laughs> And this is more for tournaments. When you're playing in tournaments, you have to know exactly what your partner is going to do in every single situation so you can be ready so you look better. It's like a choreographed dance. It's the waltz, baby. It should not look like Scott Gray's dancing. OMG. You're not positive. You have a negative attitude. And I really don't want to play with you. And I am guilty of this big time. I'm sorry, Nikki Thomas. But we're playing a point and I got upset because I felt she took my forehand middle and I handled it horribly. I'm calling myself out. And I say, you took my forehand middle. I call a timeout 
Then look what I do. I throw my paddle. That is horrible sportsmanship. More importantly, I'm being a horrible partner and I should never do that. This brings me to my next point. You keep taking my forehand middle. It's my forehand middle. I apologize to Nikki and this is the very next point. So we're all growing. She did play with me in later tournaments. Thank you so much for forgiving me. And I apologize again, Nikki Thomas. Guys and ladies, please subscribe, leave your comments, and have a great night. Until next time at the Pickleball Pirates.